Hello, Shamai Bluithin Huich. Um, here's a transition lesson for you to complete at home. It's what we call a restorative approaches lesson, and it's all going to be about Colours of the Rainbow. Um, and there'll be a series of lessons coming up very shortly to do with um, the rainbow and colours. So I hope you enjoy the lesson. So the first slide is just for you to have a little look at and, and reflect upon. It says the great day is storm, the bright day rainbow. And certainly in the last few months, a lot of families, possibly your friends, possibly yourself, have been um, caught up in this storm um, of COVID. So this saying here just means that the greater the storm, and we have all been through this awful storm, at the end of it, it'll come out better and brighter for us. Now, as part of restorative approaches, it would be great to, um, for you to think about these two questions and possibly write an answer as well. Number one, which is your favourite colour of the rainbow and why? Possibly a colour makes you feel happy, makes, makes you feel um, good about yourselves. And the second one there is what one thing brings you joy and happiness? Now that could be a pet, a family member, a friend, it could be a teacher. So have a little think about those two questions. The next little task, again, you could write your thoughts down. The task is, as a colour, describe your feelings about being in lockdown. And here are a list of colours that you might identify with. So, for example, this COVID and lockdown might make you feel very angry um, and sad. Therefore, you might be the colour red or blue. Um, it might be that you're surrounded by your families and you feel very much loved. So you might be the colour pink, possibly. So have a think about those. And again, you could write your thoughts down or if you want to just think about that question. Next then is thinking about you as a person and what colour represents you. So you might want to do a little bit of research on the internet as to the meaning of colours but it might be that you really like the colour yellow because it's a very happy colour. Um, it might be green. Green means growth. So it might be that you're continually developing as a person. So think of you, think of a colour and think why that colour represents you. Now the next part of the um, restorative approaches lesson is this part where it says the story of the ring. So I would like you to listen very carefully to this story and there is a little quiz on Kahoot to go with the story which I think you'll all enjoy. So here's the story of the rainbow. Once upon a time the colours of the world started to quarrel. All claimed that they were the best, the most important and the most useful. Green said clearly I am the most important, I am the sign of life and of hope. I was chosen for grass, leaves, trees, without me all animals would die. Blue interrupted, you only think about the earth, but consider the sky and sea. It is the water that is the basis of life and drawn by the clouds from the deep sea. The sky gives space and peace and serenity. Without my peace, you would all be not nothing. Yellow chuckled, you are all so serious. I bring laughter and warmth to the world. The sun is yellow, the moon is yellow, the stars are yellow. Every time you look, look at a sunflower, the whole world starts to smile. Orange started next to blow his trumpet. I am the colour of health and strength. I may be scarce, but I am precious, for I serve the needs of human life. I carry the most important vitamins. Think of carrots, pumpkins, oranges and mangoes. Red could stand it no longer. He shouted out, I am the ruler of all of you. I am blood. Life's blood. I am the colour of danger and of bravery. I am willing to fight for a cause. I bring fire to the blood. I am the colour of passion and of love. The red draws the poppy. Without me, the earth would be as empty as the moon. Purple rose up to his full height. He was very tall and spoke with great pomp. I am the colour of royalty and power. Kings and bishops have always chosen me, for, for I am a sign of authority and wisdom. Finally, Indigo spoke. 
much more quietly than all the others, but with just as much determination. Think of me. I am the colour of silence. You hardly notice me, but without me, you all become superficial. I represent thought and reflection. You need me for balance and contrast, for prayer and inner peace. And so all the colours went on boasting and quarrelling, each convinced of their own superiority. In the midst of the clamour, Rain began to speak. You foolish colours, fighting amongst yourselves, each trying to dominate the rest. Don't you know you were each made for a special purpose, unique and different? Doing as they were told, the colours united and joined hands. The rain continued. From now on, when it rains, each of you will stretch across the sky in a great bow of colours as a reminder that you can all live in peace. The rainbow is a sign of hope for tomorrow. And so, whenever a good rain washes the world and a rainbow appears in the sky, let us remember to appreciate one another. So I hope you've enjoyed that story. There's a lot of meaning in the story. And as I said, there's a link to this um, PowerPoint um, and to this video for Kahoot. So I think you would like to join in with the um, Kahoot quiz to go with that story. Now, I'm just going to leave you with a couple of more slides. Um, this one, um, again, I'd just like you to think about. It says, rainbows remind us that even after the darkest clouds and the fierce winds, there is still beauty. And as a checkout, there are two questions to finish this lesson. What one kind thing would you like to tell someone special to you? And the final um, question, one goal that you would like to set yourself after completing this check-in? Hopefully you'll be inspired to um, do something really exciting in the coming weeks or coming months. Dear Convolve Breathing Quick, thank you very much for sex. I hope you enjoy the, um, the work. Dear Convolve. If you are interested in joining us here in St John Lloyd School, please email the office at stjohnlloyd.co.uk. Alternatively, you can visit us on Twitter at St John Lloyd or telephone the school office on 01554 77 2589. Thank you. Bye bye.